You know what day it is? It's Farming Simulator 25 blog release day, or better known as Thirsty Thursday. So crack open your favorite cold chilled beverage and have a seat as we explore the ins and outs of today's Farm Sim news. Way back at FarmCon, we learned about buildable farmhouses and Giants confirmed other buildable missions like the roller coaster, boat builders, and piano shop from Silver Run Forest and Zilonka. Today we'll learn all about the construction projects in Farming Simulator 25. Now I'm sure everyone knows that there will be three base maps in FS25. We know about the American map, River Bend Springs, and the recently learned about the Asian map, Hutan Pantai. Now I often assume that things I know, everyone else knows as well, but I acknowledge this isn't always the case. So if you're not aware, Zilonka is back in Farm Sim 25 as the third base map. This isn't the first time by any stretch of the means that the DLC map from the previous farm sim has made its way into the base map in the next version. As such, you can be the Billy Joel's Piano Man by bringing quality lumber to the piano workshop not only on Zilonka, but it will be also available on the other FS25 base maps as well. A few weeks ago, Giants profiled Riverbend Springs, and we saw images of what appeared to be a wagon right. Well, today we learn about Silver Shaft Wagon that's been building quality horse-drawn wagons since 1904. They are celebrating their 120th year in business and will request wooden boards, fabric, and rope for use in production of their wagons. Way back during FarmCon, when Riverbend Springs was first revealed, we learned about a location that seemingly built wooden playground items. Giants has confirmed today that the toy maker will require delivery of planks and boards to produce a variety of wooden toy tractors. Now I do hope that we can build red tractors also. Think of the children. They deserve to play on nothing but the finest. These projects are more on the smaller side. Of course, I know that those playing farm sim have grandier ambitions, and for that we have construction missions more on the scale of, say, the roller coaster from Silver Run Forest. On Riverbend Springs, Walter, who we've met earlier this week, is known as Grandpa, and another NPC yet to be introduced to us named Noah, will require assistance in building what has been described in the past as a rope park. Just like the roller coaster, this project will build in multiple stages after delivering all the required elements for stage one, then construction will begin and only once stage one construction is complete, will you be able to then start delivering the items needed for Stage 2. This is truly going to be a long-term project. Now, not to be outdone, Hutan Pantai also has another monumental project in rebuilding the Temple Grounds, which we saw during the map reveal just a few weeks ago. Now let's circle back to Riverbend Springs. At this point, you'd have to have been living under a rock not to have seen the rundown grain elevator images. In the map preview earlier in the summer, it was revealed as the file name of that image that the elevator would be a museum. Today we learned that we'll have the opportunity to restore the grain elevator to its past glory. Once restored, it will be a perfect place to store and show off historically significant agricultural machines that can also be found scattered around the map. Now if there's only a local historian that one could talk to, that's right. Another reason to visit Grandpa is to spark up some small talk about the historical farming aspects of the area. Let's circle back to farmhouses and from the blog post, buildable barns. Construction projects like the museum, carriages, or even the rope park might not be up everyone's alley. The barrier to entry is much lower for farmhouses and barns. From the images provided, unlike the farmhouses in FS22, players will be able to walk into and explore various rooms within each model of house. At least four different models will be available upon launch from a log cabin to a converted grain silo. Lastly, collectibles are back with a bit of a twist this time around. Look for glowing crop orbs. Will we get money from these orbs? Or will we somehow magically spawn crops somewhere? I guess only time will tell. What's coming up next week? It seems Giants may have shown their hand on the remaining three blog posts with their hints. Will we see info on production chains? How about GPS? Or even ground deformation? 
I say yes to all three. So which would you like to hear about first? Let me know down in the comments below what you think about the various construction projects on the base maps from pianos to rebuilding a temple complex. Now it's quite possible that once you've seen the information about this week's blog post, you've decided, yep, it's time I buy Farming Simulator 25. And if that's the case, and if you play on PC, then maybe consider using my affiliate link down in the description below. All purchases from the Giants eShop will also get a copy of the Golden CR11 and the Mac Dom Pack shown off earlier this week. Or maybe the kind of person that wants something more. If that's so, then Amazon has you covered with the Farm Sim 25 Collector's Edition that includes all kinds of cool bonuses, including a USB ignition switch. Console players can also pick up the disc version of the game using the same Amazon link as the Collector's Edition. Lastly, be sure to like and subscribe on your way out the door. Don't forget to come back tomorrow morning for this week's roundup of fact sheets. Just over three weeks to go at this point. And until next time, happy farming.